What's going on guys? I just got to the shop. We got a long day ahead of us. I got my coffee. It's feeling a little cold out. So let's go get the fire going. <laughs> So now that we got this fire going, I need to clean it up in here because it's getting pretty dirty already. So let's take a minute, get everything out of here, and then we can start fresh on the day. Last night and I put that Toyota axle, the front Toyota axle under the Samurai. And I'll be honest, I got a little bit overwhelmed. Packaging is definitely an issue. That 100 inch wheelbase is also gonna be a challenge. So what I need to figure out today though, is exactly what that's going to be. I mean, maybe not exactly, but at least a good ballpark. And the reason being is I need to get some springs ordered. I want to do coilovers, but I think it's probably gonna go the coil route for now. Coilovers just have a really long lead time. They're also quite expensive and I'm already pretty deep into this build. So I think coil springs will be the start. Now I did get a bunch of lengths of PVC pipe. So these are gonna be some mock links and I really wanna try to get at least the three links in the front and the four in the back, at least attached to the axle housing and then kind of just play around with the length and the angles to understand where things are gonna be. Cause like I said, the packaging is real, really the big issue right now for me and I need to just get over that and start with the build. So as I was sliding this rear axle underneath, I realized that it's clearly gonna be hitting both the exhaust and the gas tank. This is pretty well known. I knew I was gonna have to pull these out anyways, but let's do this a little bit sooner. Let's rip them out of here, give ourselves a bunch of room and slide this axle in.
guys, so we now have the axles underneath this armor again. The difference now is that we know where they are. So I've marked center from the front of the Samurai to the back, and I cast a line with the laser level all the way through. So now we have a really good idea of where center is on this chassis. And then what I did is I found the center from these Toyota axles, marked that center line, and then matched the two underneath the Samurai. So basically we've got these centered as best we can, and I've got them pushed out as far as I can just based on our jack stand setup. And that wheelbase is now set at 95 inches. So just with that as a starting point, playing around with where the 37 inch tires will be, I think we might actually stay with this. And the reason being is those tires are poking out a decent amount from the front and back of the Samurai. And I don't wanna to go too much further from there. So I actually really like the look of it. I threw my old 33 inch tires in front. I had to give the 37s back, I was just borrowing them. But I threw those 33s at the locations of the axles and I think it's gonna look really planted and it's not poking out too far. So 95 inches is a huge benefit from where we were before 82 and a half, and I'm pretty happy with this. So next step is to make some mock links using PVC pipe, and we're gonna to get to that right now. Okay guys, try to get a little bit of an angle to show you this, but I'm looking at where I put these links. Now one of the big answers I wanted to address with putting these PVC links on is whether I should be running these inboard of the frame or outboard of the frame. Looks like if I run them outboard of the frame I'm not going to have too much of an angle. I mean we will have a pan hard bar for this so it's not too concerning but it would be nice to run this to the inside. That's a good amount of triangulation. And then for the upper link, I mean, immediately we can see issues with the exhaust. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull this right out. So this should give you a little bit of a better view of what it looks like. This is a pretty hard camera shot to get, but hopefully it illustrates what I'm trying to do here. Now for this outside link, you can see if I run this on the outside of the frame rail, we get a decent amount. And then this upper one. So if we're going for a flat link up top, we've got a lot of clearancing to do. Well guys, what a day. We got a lot of work done. And we've even got those PVC links under there. Me feeling overwhelmed yesterday has definitely helped putting those PVC pipes in there. I know it's nothing fancy, it's a little bit janky, but it really speaks a lot of volumes for me and it helps me understand where the packaging is gonna be when I put the real links in there. It also really confirmed my wheelbase. Looks like we'll be running around 95 inches and I'm thinking the 37s are a go. So we got a lot of stuff to do. There's a lot of work, which is great because it means more videos for you, but I've had enough today. That's it for me. Please consider subscribing. Any likes or comments really does help this channel grow. That's it for now. See you guys next time.